Hey there everyone, Paradise Gamer 13 here, and I am not a happy person at all. Uh, <laughs> I totally just faced this person, uh, t well this will be the third time now, and uh, basically her Pokemon have only had to take one less retreat cost or whatever, I don't care. It doesn't matter that much. The first time I got screwed over because I only had one Pokemon, it was a Goldeen, and she had a Dark Starmie by the second turn and just wrecked me. Second game, I definitely should have had, but I made a stupid decision as the last part, and that was probably pretty stupid of me, but I still should have won, and I just got screwed over. Anyways, this time, I guarantee you, it should hopefully be different, I hope. So, let's see, what does this guy do again? Resistance to a type, okay, good. I'm gonna use Porygon 2, or <laughs> just Porygon 1, I don't know what I'm saying, and I don't really care at this point, because I'm not a happy, happy camper whatsoever. Uh... I didn't even get to comment this time on how Brooke's name is a play on words, because it's definitely referencing a, the stream or body of water or whatever. But I don't really care, because I'm just not a happy person at all. So, let's see how this all goes. I don't have any energy cards, because that's wonderful. Uh, I need at least one. I do have an energy search, so hopefully I'll... Okay, good. Alright, so put this on Porygon. Put this on the bench. And attack. It's gonna do nothing, is it? Yes. Oh no, it actually did 10. Great. Also, awesome attack, by the way. Um, that being said, I am going to pretty much tank everything from this Lapras, except for uh, unless he gets a really powerful water gun here coming up, but pretty soon. Next turn, hopefully I'll either draw Water Energy or I can just use my Energy Surge, I guess. Uh, or get a plus power. Oh, I have two plus powers now. Alright, well, Energy Surge and Water Energy. Put that on Porygon. And now we get to use Conversion 2. And water resistance. So take that. Now you can't do anything to me. <laughs> That's right. I forgot to mention, in the last fight that I lost, I had Gyarados. I should have easily wrecked everything, but I didn't. And ha! Your Confuse Ray does nothing to me. You can confuse me all you want, but I really can't, yeah. I, it's, yeah. You're pretty much in a bad position right now. Not gonna lie. Hopefully I draw another energy, though. That was the nice thing about my last match, though, was I was not short on energy whatsoever. Uh, go ahead and stick it on Magic Carp for now. And I guess just use... I guess I'm gonna put Gold V on. Well... Yeah, I'll just wait. Don't really need it. I'll just hit it with a 3D attack now. And hopefully I get at least one head here. I'm not going to, am I? <laughs> nope! I am so bad at getting coin flips to go my way. I don't understand how that even... Hmm. Anyways, uh, if I do get confused, why is she always so happy? Man, I really just want to, like, s smack that smirk off her face with my uh, Gyarados. Except that's why I tried it last time, and it didn't end so well for me. But She should not have been... She just constantly was all, like, ha gave me the little happy look the entire time my Gyarados was out. And I was really confused until she drew an Articuno, and took me out with the Sea King and just started being really mean to me and it wasn't very nice. But nonetheless, do I have Pokemon Trader at the moment? No, I don't. But uh, once I do, I can actually trade in that Goldeen for Gyarados and start wrecking things properly this time. Hopefully I'll get at least one more head to make... Okay, good. Make up for last time. So I can take this thing out slowly but surely. Uh, he... Probably, oh no, he didn't, she didn't even attach it to Lapras, which she totally should have done, because she really started doing 10 damage to me, but... Oh well. So now I'm just not going to attack, <laughs> because i uh, pretty sure I don't have to deal with that confusion if I don't want to. Um, Porygon doesn't have any resist or uh, retreat, does he? Maybe, if I remember correctly from the, one of the last videos I did. Yeah, he doesn't, so, <laughs> that's great. Um, I can pretty much just swap him and Goldeen whenever I want. 
I think, because Goldeen shouldn't have any retreat, even if Goldeen's retreat was one. Wait, what? I didn't know you were, oh, that's that would have been bad. Okay, never mind then, but um, nonetheless, I can at least do some damage here. Conserve, oh, you know what, though? I bet that gets rid of my water resistance. I mean, I guess it doesn't matter that much, but who cares? Um, and this is a little more uh, effective, I guess you could say. I don't know. More reliable, that's where I was looking for, instead of flipping all those coins every turn. But, uh, nonetheless, I do want to keep Porygon, though, alive as much as I can, I guess, so. It's probably for the best, anyway. Just because he's kind of a good trump card. Ooh. 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 Hmm, yeah, I might have to get that. Ah, uh, see, though, well, oh, man, there's so many good things. Dark War Turtle, because I already have Dark Blastoise and Squirtle. And what? I only have one water energy, though, which is kind of a bummer. So let's see here. I guess I can get that, and that, and that, and that, and that. Yeah, that's okay. Um, I do have a potion. Oh, yeah, it won't be until next turn that I draw Seeking anyways. So let's just not do anything. See how it goes. Oh, you're gonna kill me. Okay. Well, I was not expecting that, to say the least. Okay, now you're making me a pretty angry person. Again. I swear, I've never been so... F okay, maybe I have been pretty frustrated. I got really frustrated with the electric guy, whose name I forget. But other than that, I've not been this frustrated with uh, with a leader. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna stall you out with... Um, whatever the heck it's called. Uh... The one move that I tend to like to use. Um, conversion, too, for that matter. And switch to water resistance. And I'm just going to chill here and do absolutely nothing until I draw some good cards. So take that, because I'm not going to fight you a fourth time. That is for sure. And you better get Tails, because I want another cheap blow on you. Okay, good. Before I, uh, before I start really dealing damage to you. that. Um, I guess 3D attack. Yeah. As long as I do 10 damage, I'll be good. I'm not going to do 10 damage, am I? Okay, good, I did. So then I can switch into Goldeen on the next turn, regardless of whether I'm confused or not. I almost really don't care. Uh, i just start doing some things. Actually, if I'm confused, I may rethink my strategy a little bit. We'll see. Okay, good. This doesn't even complicate things, then. I can switch into Goldeen. Wait, no, I lied, because I only have one uh, thing. One in water energy. I would have had two, except my, that Goldeen got killed, because that was totally unfair. Not at all cool. But nonetheless, I at least got Squirtle, I guess. But... If I got all heads here, I would be a happy camper. I would no longer be a not happy camper. I'd be a pretty happy one. That's not gonna happen, it looks like, but still. Pretty cool, I guess. 10 damage. I really need to speed this up. Still not gonna use, uh, uh whatever it's called, water gun on me, even though he can actually damage me with 10 damage now, but, um, I will. Oh, the Dark War Turtle. What a surprise. Um, you know what? Screw it. I'm just gonna use a plus power and hope that I get at least one head. If I get two, I mean, I don't really care that I basically would be wasting one, because I'm not gonna get two heads. Let's be real here. Probably not even gonna get one. <laughs> oh, yes! Will that even damage him? Nope. Great! That was a true waste of plus power. I would have rather gotten two heads and basically overkilled it than what happened there. That just... Mm. I'm still convinced that it's not 50-50 chance. She's been getting a lot of tails, though, which is kind of unusual for my opponent. But nonetheless, I don't even... I think I'm drawing an air seeking here. Yeah, it's kind of stupid, but... Uh, 
Let's just go with our 3D attack. I'm not gonna waste an air plus power at this point. Gotta actually be smart with it from now on. Maybe I'll actually just flip two heads. If I get in a third head, okay. I was like, <laughs> if I got all three heads here, I would just probably just throw my mic down and just leave at this point. But, uh, oh, wow, now I got Pokemon Trader. That I don't have any Pokemon in my hand now. But I can't complain because I got basically set up to get a Dark Blastoise pretty easily. But Oh, she uses his Pokemon Trader to get that stupid Dark Star Army. I'm going to... Wait, does she even have a regular... Okay. I was like, does she even have a regular Star Army? Dark Star Army, by the way, can remove uh, energies. Not fun when you don't have any energies, like me. So let's see. I actually did draw an energy, though, finally. So that's a thing. I can retreat into Goldeen. Evolve into Seeking. Wait. Yeah, evolve into Seeking. Use Pokemon Trader on this other Seeking, which I don't know why I didn't think about that before. Basically, get a free Gyarados. Oh good, I wouldn't have even gotten another water energy for some time. So this probably works out for the best anyways, because I get to shuffle my deck around. I was concerned that I was just going to get tons of water energy in the next several turns, but that was not the case. Uh, oh yes, plus power. And just take him out in one hit waterfall. I am not, I'm not dealing with this now. It's just not happening. I'm going to win this match. I will not lose a third time. There's an air water energy, that's always good, because now I can build up Gyarados, get him to start using Dragon Rage if I need him. Uh, he's gonna evolve. Do you really even. You didn't even evolve? Really? Like, okay. I mean, that's fine, but, you know. Of course, I did already use my plus power. Maybe I should have stayed on the stupid Starmie. Of course, I wouldn't have known. I mean, there's no really way of, that I would have been able to know that she was going to, uh,. Not evolve it on the first turn for some reason, but nonetheless, I'll just use Waterfall here. And take it on the next turn, presumably, even though she's probably going to evolve it. She's probably going to evolve it. That's what I said. You know, anytime you want to do that. Okay, probably going to evolve it. Or not. Okay, just keep, uh, you know, acting kind of weird here, I guess. Why would you not evolve it? I'm so low on energy. I mean, I know you don't really have any way of knowing that. Wait, I have three plus powers? Did not know that. But, <laughs> nonetheless, like, really? <sighs> CPU can be questionable at times. Well, does she have an R star you or something? Okay, I guess she does. But still, like, come on. I'll just use a little horn attack here. Get another prize card, I guess. I and mean, you're just kind of letting me walk right through at this point in time. I feel like it's all going to be a trap, though. I'm going to somehow end up losing this last second, just because that's the way those last two matches went. Kind of, not really. More on my stupidity, more than anything else, but still. I'm gonna get slapped around again. I'm gonna go ahead and just take this out in one turn because this one has an energy and the other one does not. So the other one is not anywhere near as much of a threat as this guy is. And waterfall. Take him out. And then pretty easy another prize card we get to collect. Lapras, don't even need him at this point. And a Goldeen, and a Lapras, and I think she has one star you left, so whatever. You know, I just kind of want to, I really am tempted to just switch right into Gyarados. Oh yeah, never mind, I drew another potion, so I'll just use that. Keep Seeking Live a little longer. Using their water energy on Squirtle, I guess. Start building with the Dark Blastoise, even though I don't actually need him. Um, and Waterfall. It'd be cool if I drew a fourth plus power, but although I'm positive I don't have four. I, said I was surprised I even had three, but uh, yeah, definitely don't have four. Horn attack. Yeah, 
And you basically have no hope at this point. Oh, that was me that drew that gold dean. I thought that was her that drew another one, but nonetheless, doesn't matter. Take out this one. I think she has one prize card left after this. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Just one more, and I'm not dealing with you. I'm gonna just gust of wind you into something else. I'll probably just retreat, go into Gyarados, gust of wind her into something else, and then just destroy it. Let's see here. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and evolve you. I'm gonna go ahead and evolve you. See what else we have here. Yeah, star you. Gust of wind. Goodbye. And then here it is. By the way, so my retreat cost I guess must have been zero. Or her retreat cost must have been one usually. Yeah, that's cool. So zero because of that. I wonder what his is. It's probably like twenty. Okay, it's three. I still I mean I think Snorlax is, is Snorlax is three or is this four? I was thinking his was four, but maybe not. Anyways, just go for the overkill Dragon Rage here, and get my last prize card, and get the much, uh, much deserved water coin, I guess. And I win. Ha! <laughs> Take that. Wow, the rumors were true. You really are one tough cookie. And a rocket booster pack. What do we get in here? Dark Charizard, Dark Cadaver, Dark Machoke, Budo, Abra, Magnemite, Magikarp, Mankey, Charmander, Ponyta, and another Rocket Booster Pack. Dark, ooh, Dark Machamp, Mega Punch, and Fling. See, another prediction of a future generation move with Fling. I swear they must have just been stealing new, like, in the future generations, they probably just got too lazy to make new moves and just decided to go off of old Pokemon card ones, I guess. But, uh, let's see here. Opponent shuffles his or her active Pokemon and all cards attached to it. Blah. Wait. Oh. Oh! That is awesome. Ha. Huh. Uh, Dark Charmeleon, Omanite. Oh. He's in a thing. I think he's being, like, revived by the thing. What's Prehistoric Dream mean? Okay, interesting. Magmar, Eevee, Abra, Magnemite, Ekans, Dark Rapidash, Full Heal Energy. Okay, so now I get the Water Coin, too. Here you go, you've earned it. Psyduck. Uh, I guess I'll use it. Wait, I'm not even using the- I just realized I didn't even use the Electric Coin. <laughs> Forgot to switch to that, I guess. Or the grass, yeah, I was using the grass coin. Which actually is probably the coolest one I've gotten so far, out of these three. Because it actually has a gold bat, which is actually an evolved Pokemon and not a super derpy one. Nonetheless, it looks like you still don't have the GR Fire Coin. Before you may enter the GR Fighting Fortress, you'll need to win that. I suppose your next destination is... Yeah, it is. Great deduction. So nonetheless, that is going to be it for this part. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, I would really appreciate you leaving that or hitting that like button. Actually, before I end this part, I'm going to trade that guy. Well, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and trade that guy, that thing. Oh, well, I wasn't expecting this. Hey, PG-13, come here. I guess I might as well do this because why not? What do you think? Well, I'm not really a part of Team GR. It's me, Ronald. Is that coin you have, the GR Water Coin? Cool, but you'll need another coin to enter the GR Fighting Fortress. If I'm not mistaken, that coin is the GR Fire Coin. The GR Fighting Fortress seems to be much larger for it than this. It's been a while since we met, though, PG-13. I'm here to see if you've been get. Okay, great. Uh, like I've been, let's have a six prize card to do, and I'll give you a cool card. All right. So obviously, I'm going to be doing that in this part. It's going to be the next part, I guess. And in which case, so hopefully, I'll remember to trade that cool dark blastoise card for that other blastoise card but anyways if you guys like this video i already said this but anyways i'm gonna repeat it because i really want you to hit that like button so hit that like button and also subscribe to my channel because i know you probably want to be notified of my future content all that blah blah if you get hope you guys enjoyed and thanks again for watching